Right, so what's this thing? Right. Indie Corner. Yeah, I know that. It's, it's Friday, so everybody knows it's Indie Corner. Yep, we're Indie Corner. Solar 2. I do not know what Solar 1 is. Um, and I found this game, it was on a Humble Bundle. Um, and it was pretty good. Because you know how we were looking for that Spore game, and we ended up finding that Evolution 2, and it was yeah. a load of shit? So this works like Spore, kind of, except for in space. So, okay, right. I am very intrigued. You start off as an asteroid. As you can see, asteroid, mass 2. Uh, and this is my progress bar, which I'm pointing up here into the top right, top left even. Top left, yeah. But you, you can't see. I'm be pointing. My face cam, this just makes a bit more sense. Not going to. All right. So the idea is to become a bigger asteroid, you've got to, if you don't miss like that, smash into other asteroids. See? Now mass 3. Right. And those arrow things pointing off me are missions to do, which when I played this, so I didn't hit that one hard enough. When I played this, I didn't do the missions at all, because missions were a load of shit. Um, basically, it's really impossible to complete them. They want you to like destroy planets because skunks live on them, or destroy all of the asteroids that are orbiting planets, but do not touch the planets themselves. And, oh, come on! Oh, I made that one grain mass. Anyway, let's move back. But yeah, so you know, like in so is, Spore, you were gaining, you were gaining like, um, what was it? Just DNA yeah. to get bigger, and you had to fight with other um, mobs that were in like your spawn pool. Yeah, you were kidding. This kind of gets like that soon. So when I become a planet, other planets will appear, and I won't ruin the surprise to what happens to you when you become a planet. Yeah, please don't know what take. Alright, I'm a planet. Alright. You see how I got things all bit me? Yep. No, I can't remember the buttons. K and L. Alright. So now I've got to, to to get mass, I've got to get these to orbit me. But if they hit me, I lose mass. Because it'll take a chunk off you. Yeah. So you've got to get them to fall into orbit, which you do by going very slowly near them. Let's just get a load of these things. This becomes really difficult when you become a star and you have planets that are trying to and then you get planets that become stars and shit just gets difficult so pressing L absorbs everything that's around you okay whereas if I can get two I'll show you if I get this correct nope. so that hit me and I lost the mass whereas if you press K you absorb the smallest thing you have so that if you're a star and you have um planets around you, you can tell the planets to absorb um, their satellite things, or you can absorb the um, planets that are around you to become a bigger star. It, is, it sounds complicated, but it's not. I'm confused. Right. What are we confused about? I don't know. That's the most confusing thing about it. Okay. Did you set red thing in the top red? Top red? Those, those red things. Well, they don't look healthy. They don't look very kind. Spaceships. Are they exploring or are they going to try and destroy? I hope going to try and All of them are hostile in this. Um, Interesting. So once we become a better planet, which will happen soon. Ooh, wrong one. Come on. We will start to grow life. I, can, I, I kind of figured that when it says that the next stage is life planet. Oh, it does say that. Oh, let's go. Alright, so then you've got like nomad planets, like that one green one off to the left. And then you've got actual stars that have planets and the thing is I never had anything like that you see how those spaceships were attacking that planet yeah I think they're not from that planet um, I always thought it'd be weird what if you had like two planets and two of them hate each other and they started attacking themselves that would sort of mess up all your plans but yeah, that I, know, I never had that happen to me I like this is the easiest way to do it instead of just trying to get loads of them to come and join you just float very slowly past the field while keep continuously hitting L, and if one grabs onto you, then you take it straight away. Yeah, that guy ain't happy with me. Silly nomad planet. And you can um, steal other people's planets if you get the gravity well enough. No, gravity well. Okay, yeah, so look, now we're a, a, a life bearing planet, and you can see evolution going. Yeah? Okay. So we're, doing, we're getting some evolution going on. It was. Yeah. And then we can become a small star and get planets, and you become a bigger star, and you'll get um, 
you'll be able to have more planets. Yeah, obviously. Okay, it took me about, I don't know, like maybe an hour to get to the end game of this, which we're not going to do. Oh, look, look. So we have a shield now, and we have a little, little uh, aliens. Nice. Yeah, so tell me about how to get to the end game of this, so I'm not going to uh, like play all of it to get to that. But you become a black hole, and you've got to destroy the universe. <laughs> it's a little bit different to sport. Yeah. Um, and you've got to create the big crunch. And then creating the big crunch causes the big bang to occur, and you start again as an asteroid. <laughs> Ending. Yeah. Actually, I got an idea. So this is a system I had. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. So <laughs> you've got a star attached to you. Yeah. yeah there is a way to. Um. What happens if you press L? Nothing, because I haven't got any uh, like things orbiting. But if I was to press K, the smallest planet disappears. Right. Um, yeah. What happens if I just absorb everything? Will I become the neutron star that I want to be? No, I just end up being two stars. Both of them now neutron. So I need to level up the stars individually, and you become a black hole. So like grabbing planets is much like grabbing the meteorites. But a bit harder because <laughs> yeah. they smash into you because your gravity is up to much. You can see all those things are following me. Oh, right, so here's a mission. Let's have a look. See, it probably won't work. Watch out, aliens. That it. You ambushed me. So we can shove rocks into them. Because I don't have any planets to defend me, it's not really going to work that well. So let's just crash into them. Oh dear, more aliens. That worked. Burn, motherfuckers. Your mass is going down, but you're surviving. Come oh, on, you can't defeat this binary star. Hey, we're a binary star. Ah! Oh, is it? Just those guys. Tell me about the middle of our stars. You mean the core? Is it? That's close. I don't know, that's it. It's just crappy little missions that mean fuck all. But yeah, um. You'd hope it would give you like a boost or something, but. Yeah, sometimes they'll be like, oh, this is a, a really nice looking. So, see, I make one of their planets. <laughs> that was mean. My planet now. Well, do you know what you should do with their planet to make. To it's make growing up life. What you did? It's growing life. Are oh, you not going to absorb it? No. There we go. Let's take down some more planets. It is really difficult to grab these. Basically, you've just got to float near them and let them float round you, but not hit you. Yeah, it's it's a bitch. All right, all the planet there, but it's been destroyed. So this is this game basically. There's not much more to it. Yeah, like, I wish it I seems could, like it's a nice little. Game. I wish I had it saved around the um, the black hole bit. I should have done that. Done a save for the black hole because it would have been quite cool to see that. Come on. Um, but you literally just go around as a black hole, sucking in everything you see. But you got to make sure not to go near a black hole that's bigger than you, because it will, it suck, will suck you, you in. in. And then you just become the biggest black hole ever, and the whole world just well, the whole the whole universe just destroys. Which is what you're no, trying no, to no. do. Anyway. It got because I was doing it very tactically, trying to get the um, asteroids to go around the planets. And then it became really annoying, and I just fly at speed through asteroid fields and con continuously hitting L so that I would like gain asteroids, and uh, it worked. So one of my neutron stars has gone down to a lower star. Yeah, because, because of, of all the damage you can take. Yeah. I'm grabbing my plant seven now. So if I can find an asteroid, you could start an all-out war with another. Yeah, that is really hard to do. I thought that'd be a nice, like, cool little feature, starting out like wars and that, but it's not that easy to do. I'd say get loads of life-bearing planets before you do it. Oh yeah, yeah, and just get them all to sort of and then take out something like that. It'd probably be something you could do in the game, and some of the missions are like that. 
but it, it seems to take a lot of effort. I could be bothered. Right, this is, that's my ten planets. That's ten planets. So right, yeah. So if I like, all the little green ones are mine, and all the red ones, are everyone else's. So probably give me all my see. planets. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> I may be a dick to all of the people who live around me. Yeah, like you just destroyed them. But this is system. this is solar two, and it's quite cool. Um, it, as I say, it only took me about an hour to complete, but it's a nice little little game. It's like it's a little bit of fun. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of much more you could, they could add to this game because literally you start off as an asteroid and you become a black hole. Yeah, there's it's, nowhere else. But it's to a go damn good game, so. especially as I was looking for a, a spore sort of sort of game. It's like space spore. Space spore, yeah, yeah. It is very similar in mechanics. It was. Um, I saw it on Humble Bundle, knew nothing about it, and so went and watched uh, a video on it. And it was WTF is Soda Two by Total Biscuit. I think that's his name. Is um, the cynical Brit is the show that he was doing. And it was quite right. good, and it on his thing about it made me get the game. And you're glad, definitely, yeah. Um, short but fun. Sure, short but fun. I don't. It's not on Humble Bundle anymore because it was a while ago. It, actually, it was a month ago. It was while I was off in London for that thing. Um, I'm sure you can still get it. It's Probably not going to be that expensive. expensive. I don't see it being that expensive. It's a good game. Uh, check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Check out the videos at We'll see you again next week in the corner. Yeah. Love this corner. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey guys. Sparrow and Blaze. Hey guys. Very cool. Just want to let you know that we are now on Patreon. Yes. yes. So, if you feel like you want to donate to us and help us with what we do, if you like our content, yeah, go you'll, visit the link in the description. You'll be helping us um, make better content for you. There'll be sort of behind-the-scenes stuff that you can only get and perks depending on how much you donate. So, exactly. thank you if you do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Yeah, thank Bye. you.